Well, I thought I'd do something a, a little different for this video. It's kind of a tool review unboxing thing. I've never done one before, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, this is the Astro Pneumatic Ball Joint Service Tool, which I picked up because I need to do uh, one of the ball joints in my flatbed. So I figured this tool would make it easier. Uh, I got it on Amazon for about 70 bucks, so it's a pretty reasonable price. And uh, I didn't have one, so now I do. Let's open her up and see what we got. Feels pretty, pretty heavy, so hopefully it's pretty heavy duty, and it'll hold up. Get the plastic off here, and we'll open this baby up. Of course, like most tools, got a nice plastic case. Keep it in. Now, of course, it's all dirty, but yeah, it's in a shop. It's supposed to get dirty. Well, here's what we have. Looks like we have the uh, big C-clamp tool and a bunch of little adapters and uh, some instructions and an ad and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead, read all this up, and uh, come back to you so I can explain to you what everything is. And then uh, I'll pull my truck in, and we'll do the ball joint on it. And I'll show you a little bit about how it works, and then come back and tell you whether I like it or not. Alright, I've taken a quick look in the, at the uh, instructions and they're pretty good. I mean it's only a, a one little one page fold out deal but it does the job and what we've got here is a big C-press which looks really heavy duty. I'm happy about that because sometimes it's really chintzy stuff but that that should hold up real well. And we've got uh, an install cup adapter and a receiving cup and an install cup along with three different receiving tubes uh, different sizes and different heights for different uh, different ball joints and an install adapter and a removal adapter and that's pretty much all there is to it um, here are the instructions gives you a nice parts list of what comes with it and tells you what they are and if you open it up, it gives you little instructions on how to uh, actually use the tool, which will be good because I've never used one. And uh, apparently you can take apart brake anchor pins, U-joints, uh, and of course ball joints, which is why I got it. So I'll be doing the ball joint, and I'll probably do, be doing the U-joints as well. We'll see. But now it's time to pull the truck in and see how this thing works. All right, now it's time to see this thing in action, <clears throat> see what it does. And uh, this is pretty darn rusty, so it should put it to the test pretty well. I've got my receiving cup and my removal adapter, which I'm going to put on this end. And then I've got the big press, which I'll put on here. Tighten her down. And then uh, I'll grab my impact. We'll spray this down so it's nice and lubed run her in and see see what happens here's a little better shot of how it's installed there's a big hole here that'll allow the uh, stud on the end of the ball joint to pass through and allow the whole thing to be pressed out so hopefully this thing will do it alright here goes nothing let's see what happens Well, this thing wasn't kidding. That worked extremely well. Took her right out, no problem. Well, there's my ball joint. Slipped right out of there, no problem. And this was pretty darn rusty. So, so far so good. Well, the package said that it was good for U-joints as well. I just so happen to have some really rusty, nasty U-joints that need to be replaced. So, I've got it installed with no adapters. Again, there's a hole at the end to allow the other cup to come through and uh, yeah let's put her to the test it 
make sure I'm not catching on the edge here. Well, I had to reposition it slightly, but I think we're good now. Let's give her a go. I'd say it works pretty well. Well, now that I've used this tool to uh, successfully remove a ball joint and a U joint, um, I think the verdict is in for me. This is a pretty good investment. I think it was $70 well spent to buy this. Uh, only time will tell if it will last, but it it seems to be pretty heavy duty stuff, and uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, it knocked the ball joint and the U joint out with no trouble, and it was pretty pretty rusted parts I had on there. I think it was pretty severe so I put it to the test pretty good for its first use and it stood up well. So I'm happy with it. I'd have to say that it was a good investment. Yeah, if you like this tool review and you think I should do more um, just let me know in the comments and next time I get a new tool uh, I'll see if I can do a review on it if you want to see that.